so yeah in art school we're kind of taught that to do stuff that's too literal is really bad you know that's like a vulgar it's like a vulgar thing and you try and work your way around that and then you end up just uh, making some very simple abstract paintings because that's the conclusion that you always arrive at and I realize that it's best just to like get it all out there and get the dilemmas and the and the meat and the juice of the creative mind just get some juice out onto the meat if you know what I mean so uh, here you've got um this guy's kind of based on me and he says I fucking hate w low work surfaces because my I always get proper bad backache in kitchens uh, doing stuff and sometimes like I remember when I was working in the catering industry and you'd be washing dishes and you get a bad back and someone would tell you just to deal with it you know and it makes you really want to make them suffer so it makes you want to make like get a little children's um a children's little set kitchen and make them wash up on that children's set and see how they feel anyway so he is normal nick and he's just a normal height you see almost half the size of me and uh he likes the fact that someone tall and big um is suffering and and, and looks weak so he's saying deal with it lanky boy and um and obviously that's making my problems worse. So I've got this kind of spotty red, angry head. But I can't argue back with him because he's the normal Nick's the boss, you know what I mean? And he's also got a slave here. This is normal Nick's nameless slave. And uh, he's saying that he's lonely. He's always wear he always has to wear a mask and he and he can't really talk. Normal Nick just takes him around on a on a lead like that. Anyway, the saviour up here is this big boobied wide hipped woman, the angel of the future. Angel of Future, and she's basically got an insight, and she says, "Normal Nick will get seriously ill. Don't worry, lanky boy." And um, yeah, I mean, it's up to you to decide whether Normal Nick deserves to get really ill. But um, you know, he's in, his life's been spent kind of just being mean to people, you know. So anyway, whatever. Here, I've put some firearms. I've drawn some firearms because I was. I just like I, I like guns, you know what I mean. I'm I'm always um, I'm always drawing guns. But I but this is this is not so, this has got nothing to do with America and their new and their ongoing gun problem or anything political. When I was a kid, my parents, my mum, you know, they they let me do a lot of stuff, but they weren't really into guns, so they didn't really let me have guns. So I used to draw them all the time, and um, and make to toast into the shape of guns. And I think drawing. If you're not allowed something drawn, it's really good, you know, to exercise your fascination with it. So I used to always draw syringes, like drug syringes and, and, and guns, even when I was like 13, you know. And I just drew this building here, just for the just for the crack. And that's the that's the drawing there, and there's some pills down there. Again, I like to draw I like to draw pills, I think they're fascinating in in our culture. And that's that. <laughs>